Okay, so let's say you wanted to solve this. Uh, one of the things that you would do first is put down on the side your formula. You see this right here is a difference formula. So to generalize it, A minus B equals cosine A cosine B. Then you, with cosines we change the sign so this would be positive and then sine A sine B all right so now that we got that listed we can start so cosine cosine since it's negative we add um, then it's a sine sine Okay, that's the first step. Now we figure out what is cosine pi. Uh, well, cosine pi, you could figure that out in degrees. That's cosine 180. And 180 is a quadrantic angle. You know, 180 would be here. And according to the unit circle, um, this is 0 for the y-axis and negative 1 for the x-axis and cosine is the x-axis sine is the y-axis so since this is cosine right now we're talking about that be negative one so this equals negative one we bring down this cosine x so this becomes negative one times cosine x plus make a circle just so that you don't forget that you're dealing with an addition problem. Well, now the question is, what is sine pi? We just figured out that pi is 180, and sine in this quadrant is a quadrantic angle. It's going to be zero, so plus zero times sine x. Now we know that negative one times cosine is negative cosine x, plus zero times anything is zero, so our final answer is negative cosine x. And because we use this important formula here, this is the, one of the difference identities. OK for, of course, your trig. All right.